It's not in service yet, for once this tube train arrived early, three years early. The first of 47 new trains has started test runs in a three quarters of a billion pound makeover of the Victoria Line. It's almost like the real thing. This train looks ready to go, but there's a long way to go yet. They've got months and months of testing ahead of them. Come into the rear of the train though, and it's a different world. This is hard hat territory. It's like a building site. This is where they're carrying out the tests on these new trains and on the new track and signaling. Improvements that hopefully are gonna make a big difference to the service on the Victoria Line. We've got a new signaling system we're putting in and we're upgrading the infrastructure of the railway to be able to take the new rolling stock uh, and exploit its, uh, its benefits into the rise. Once we've convinced that we've got uh, the train signaling system working properly, then we'll start to bring the fleet down. And I expect that uh, in 2010 the public will start to be able to ride on the new trains. The key benefit is about the capacity of this train. The trains themselves are higher in space, they're longer. The seats are set back further into the sides of the train, which creates more space as you walk through, through the train. There's no cabs in the middle of the train, so there's more doors, and the doors are wider. And it's a smoother, faster ride? It's a smoother, faster ride, and a cooler, smoother, faster ride. For this is a relief, cool air on an underground train on a hot day, because on the Victoria Line, these new trains are going to have air that's cooled outside in the tunnel, pumped in, and brought to commuters at face level when they stand on a busy train. Oh, it's a bit of a contrast on the old Victoria Line today. Hot and not a breath of fresh air. But soon they'll be getting that nice, cool, clean air in. Well, at least I hope it will be clean, because as part of that clear-up operation, the tunnels then remove tons after tons of human hair and skin. If they hadn't removed it, it would have been sucked in to the new trains. Nice. But at least it would have been cool. On the Victoria Line, hot and bothered, Phil Bales, London Tonight.